The best camera phones offer a tantalizing combination of the pinnacle of imaging technology with pin-sharp displays and lightning-fast internet connectivity. In fact, some handsets can deliver better photographs than the proper camera you might otherwise be tempted to pick up. Hello guys, welcome to Gadget 10. We've got the top five best camera phones in 2022 for you today. You can buy it at the link in the description below the video. Number five, OnePlus 9 Pro. Past OnePlus phones have usually been a step or two behind the rest of the best camera phones. But that's changed with the OnePlus 9 Pro, thanks to a partnership with camera specialist Hasselblad. It has a 48 megapixel f1.8 main camera, an 8 megapixel f2.4 telephoto one with 3.3 times optical zoom, a 50 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide one, and a 2 megapixel monochrome lens. Of those, the ultra wide is arguably the most notable, as it has a freeform lens design that reduces the barrel distortion often found at the edges of ultra wide shots taken on other phones. And while the OnePlus 9 Pro has powerful manual controls, it also works well when taking photos in auto. So this is a strong point and shoot choice. With video recording at up to 8K quality too, and a capable 60 megapixel front facing camera, the OnePlus 9 Pro is a good all-rounder as far as photography goes and in most other ways. The design, very in tune with OnePlus, burdenless design philosophy is slim and elegant. The 6.7 inch QHD, Plus Display delivers stunning visuals at 120 Hz with next-generation LTPO technology that conserves battery. The OnePlus 9 Pro cannot compete with other flagships in terms of zoom cameras, but at this price, it is a more than valid all-rounder option. And it has 5G too. Number 4. Huawei Mate 40 Pro The Huawei Mate 40 Pro display looks pretty great. Though the paucity of streaming service apps means that opportunities for enjoying it are somewhat limited. This screen is 6.76 inches diagonally. It has a 2,772 by 1,344 resolution. And as a result, images look sharp. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro, with its triple rear camera setup, also looks to be quite the capable candidate, although do note it does lack access to any Google apps. It has a 50 megapixel f1.9 main camera, a 12 megapixel f3.4 periscope one, with five times optical zoom and a 20 megapixel f1.8 ultra wide one. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro also has a decent setup on the front with a 13 megapixel f2.4 camera joined by a time of flight sensor for sensing depth. Those wider apertures on the 50 megapixel main snapper and the 20 megapixel ultra wide should also make this a good option for low light photography. Number three, Google 6 Pro. Google has a habit of delivering excellent photography experiences on its phones and the Google Pixel 6 Pro is no exception. Its hardware and software have both seen huge upgrades from the Pixel 5. The phone measures 6.5 by 3.0 by 0.4 inches and weighs 7.4 ounces. These dimensions are pretty common for a flagship, but it might be on the large side for people with small hands. The 50 megapixel main camera sensor lets in 150% more light, while the 48 megapixel telephoto lens sports four times optical zoom and 20 times digital zoom. And the 11 megapixel front facing camera has a 94 degree field of view for ultra wide selfie. Not only do you get the best cameras on an Android phone, but the Pixel 6 Pro sports the new Tensor chip, which lends itself well to things like computational photography and new Google Assistant features. If you're in the Android camp, this is the phone to get if you want the best mobile photography experience. Number two. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra builds on the success of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It offers a vast array of lenses. These include two 10 megapixel telephoto lenses, 
One is f2.4 with a 36 degree field of view, and the other is f4.9 with an 11 degree field of view. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide with a 120 degree field of view. And then there's the 108 megapixel main wide camera f1.8 with an 8 to 5 degree field of view. More broadly, this is a large, stylish, and powerful smartphone. Its 6.8 inch AMOLED screen is to die for with smooth motion, vivid colors, impressive brightness, and 500 pixels per inch resolution. The S Pen stylus is brilliant and gives you the kind of productivity you previously only got with a Galaxy Note. There's a powerful 5,000 milliamp hour battery to keep it going for hours, and the design and look of the phone is simple, but to our eyes, very stylish. Number one, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Apple's 6.7 inch flagship smartphone is, as usual, right at the cutting edge. This one has bigger sensors than ever, so can produce brighter photos even in low light and at night. Apple went all out with the iPhone 13 Pro Max's hardware, increasing the sensor size for the main and ultra-wide cameras and adding autofocus to the latter. The iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max are stunning camera phones, each packing a 12 megapixel f1.5 main sensor, a 12 megapixel f1.8 ultra-wide, and a 12 megapixel f2.8 telephoto with three times optical zoom. While they lack a dedicated macro lens, they're still arguably better for macro photography than any rival. Apple also improved its computational photography, especially when it comes to low light. Also new this year are photographic styles, basically real-time filters and cinematic mode. The latter is portrait video on steroids, boasting dynamically shifting focus to create a truly professional video experience. 